Good afternoon. This is the relearning for the first standard on the first test, speed versus velocity. Um, even though that's the title, there were two parts of this um, re uh, retest. Excuse me, there are two parts of the standard. One had to do with the fact that velocity has direction and speed does not. And the other part that I put underneath this standard was making sure you understand what a unit is and what a variable is. So you're gonna watch this uh, video while you have the worksheet in front of you. Uh, I gave you that worksheet in class or I sent it to you through your learning lab. Um, please fill it out as you go. And also you can stop and pause the video when we go through the notes if necessary. So the big thing uh, that I want you to know after you watch this video and do the practice problems is that velocity has speed and direction um, and then knowing what a unit is compared to what a variable is because they're both letters or a letter and we have to make sure that we know what we're looking at otherwise things are going to be a little tricky. So the first part is you have to know the velocity compared to speed. So Speed is going to be how fast an object is moving, but velocity is how fast an object is moving and in what direction it's moving. That is the description of velocity. So if you haven't written this down yet, go ahead and do that. And again, if you need to pause the video, please do. Next is unit versus variable. For a unit, where are you going to find it? It's going to be the letter after a number. And it is how an amount is being measured. It's going to be one or more letters. And we're going to capitalize letters which represent names. Um, some examples are M, which stands for meters, M slash S, which stands for meters per second, or W, which stands for watt. So we usually see this as five meters, six meters per second three watts. Those are all units. Because if I tell you how long something took and I tell you, well, it took me five, you're going to be wondering to, to yourself, is she talking five hours, five days, five minutes? You have to put the unit on there to make sense of it. The other part we need to know is what is a variable and where you're going to find the variable is it's going to be in an equation and it represents an amount. And it always is going to be one letter. And on your sheet, remember when we have two letters in an equation that are next to each other, that tells us we have to multiply. So it's really important that you re recognize, excuse me, that um, variables always have one letter because if they had two we wouldn't know whether or not it was um, two different amounts and we now have to multiply them or if it's just one and again the capitalization matters because you can have a variable that's a lowercase m and a variable that's a capital m or if, for example down here with time and temperature, they're both T, but one is lowercase meaning time and one is capital meaning temperature. So we have to be careful that um, we recognize whether or not we're writing lowercase or capital letters. So take a minute and look at these five things. She walks away at three meters per second. She runs quickly at five meters per second. She hikes north at two meters per second. She rides her bike slowly at 10 meters per second. And she drives to my right at 25 meters per second. Go ahead and pause what you're doing. I'm going to pause the video and I want you to just label which of these describes speed, which of them describes velocity. All right, so what'd you put for the first one? Well, a way describes the direction she's walking and three meters per second describes her speed. So that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be velocity.
She runs quickly at five meters per second. Well, quickly isn't a direction. It describes how fast. So that's only got speed in it and does not have velocity. So that's going to simply be speed and not velocity. She hikes north at two meters per second. Well, you might not usually say north, but um, that is a direction and this is a speed. So that would be velocity. She rides her bike slowly at 10 meters per second. Slowly describes the speed. So there is no direction in that, and that means that is speed. She drives to my right at 25 meters per second. My right is her direction, and 25 meters per second would be her speed, which is the answer velocity. Take a second. How'd you do? Does this make sense? If it doesn't, you should maybe talk to me about this. So take a minute on this one. Which of the following can be units? I'm going to go ahead and pause again. I want you to answer these on your own. All right, so what did you say? Which of these can be units? Did you look at these for a while and think, is there any that cannot be? Well, if you did and you were kind of stuck, that's that's okay because they all can be units. There is no limitation on units. Um, we might not know what they all mean right now, but they can all be units. Take a minute with this one. Which of the following can be variables? Go ahead and pause the video right now. Now, I didn't circle this them this time, um, but if you circle W, D, T, and M, you're correct. They all can be, those can all be variables because they are only one letter. Remember, if you have this in an equation, it looks like the mass is being divided by this, the, um, whatever S would stand for. And in this one, it looks like H is being multiplied by R. So we have to be careful that we're only using things that are one letter. If you have something that's two letters, you probably have the wrong thing. All right, so there's one more question on your sheet. Um, I want you to go ahead and practice it on your own. When you've completed it, if you could bring it to me and I will check it and ask you a couple qu quick questions and then send your free test down to Learning Lab. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you need more help. Have a great day.